Hello, all you wonderful people. <laughs> I tell you what, you get to see me out in all my glory. Believe it or not, I've showered today, washed my hair, combed it, set it, and this is what I'm left with at four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we stayed together for church, so after that, it was over. But um, I'm I'll tell you what I'm doing later, <laughs> right now. But I've been wanting to get on, and um, I just haven't. So I decided today, no matter what, I'm getting in here. Coming from a different angle, because uh, my phone holder in the heat uh, came unstuck, and I can't get it back on. I got it to go in the middle. So there you are. Um, air conditioner's broke, so. I'm competing with the air outside to talk to you, but um, I would not, I'd rather not uh, get heat exhaustion <laughs> by rolling the windows up. And so uh, I just want to talk to you. I tell you, um, it's been a rough couple days, only in that. Um, my last time I was on here, I dropped Jesse off at my dad's, and then I took, um, and I want to put some footage in here. I took um, Aiden down with me. We went in the uh, Mustang because one, um, the air conditioning works, and two, uh, I wanted to show my dad finally. And he didn't have any memory of telling me not to buy it. He had no memory at all of any of that previous stuff that we had talked about so anyway so Aiden decided he wanted to stay down there for a couple days and I'm going so I brought just back and but when I was down there dad drove the Mustang and I'm gonna put this in here in there in this video I plan to somewhere and And I also talked to him quite a bit, or he talked to me quite a bit, and he still does the chemo for the leukemia. And he goes once a month for, a week, for five days and has three weeks off, and one week, three weeks off. And he went back, he has to go back and see the, the bladder cancer doctor every six months or three months or something like that anyway they uh, tested him he tested positive for uh, bladder cancer but they went in and looked and it's there's none there and so he has to go for a scan tomorrow and the um, doctor justified it as because um, the leukemia doctor doesn't like the procedures that the um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> how the procedures are for the bladder doctor, and so they kind of fight a little bit. But like the bladder doctor said, he said, you know, leukemia can kill you, but you can also live with it. But why go through all this? To live with leukemia and all this chemo and die of some other kind of cancer that you're not aware of and my dad agreed so tomorrow he's gonna go for a scan of his abdomen and they're gonna see um, he is he's at a piece that I've never seen him at before um, I think that a lot of it has to do with the fact um, that he took took the step um, religiously and I think that's brought him a lot more peace than he ever dreamed it would bring him but he doesn't seem 
nervous. He doesn't seem upset. He doesn't seem worried. Um, I didn't get the feeling that he was trying to keep a stiff upper lip for me. I did not get that feeling at all. It was kind of like, well, this is the way it is. And, um, this is what I know and what I don't know. And just kind of left it at that. Never said much, you know, more about it. And so what I'm going to do is he's really worried about the skin and car breaking down and with Aiden down there and we we're going to switch on Tuesday. So I'm going to get Aiden tomorrow and on Monday, today's Sunday. Um, and uh, that way he can worry all he wants on Tuesday without having to worry about taking care of anybody. So, and I'll see if he wants me to go down there and go with him, but um, I know what he'll say. Well, I'm not gonna find out anything. We're just gonna do a scan, so, <laughs> which is true. And so I don't know. I just don't know what to think anymore. I just honestly don't. Um, my, I don't know. And, and as far as my issues go, I go to the specialist for uh, kidneys on the 9th. Today's, the Today's Randy's birthday, by the way. He's 14 years old. So I teased him because you can get a work permit when you're 14. So after we cut his birthday cake, I said, I'll go job hunting. <laughs> he was ready to go, but I said, no, I'm just kidding. You have your birthday off. Um, so he went fishing. He got fish, fishing gear for his birthday. So anyway, um, but he's a hard worker. He's a really hard worker. So if he goes somewhere to work, um, he will do a fantastic job for him. Um, he's got a work, work ethic that neither of his brothers have. Um, he's definitely in the class I was on there. And um, he just works his tail off at home. And people don't give him enough credit for it, but I do. He, we have five acres, and uh, he mows every day. And he's mowing a part right now that we have never mowed before. Well, that's not true. We mowed it probably seven years ago was the last time we mowed it. And I got this new uh, commercial-grade lawnmower that has made all the difference in the world. That's what I needed in the first place. I didn't need the residential because I don't live on a residential property so I don't know what I got my head into but anyway so but it works great it's a great mower and so it's taking down those leaves those those high hack weeds will but he's got to go them over them twice because it doesn't cut all of them the first time and then there's some weeds in the front that were underwater he's got to finish that and then he just starts all over again and <laughs> the parts of He's already mowed, needs to mow again. And so uh, the boy can literally mow every day. And um, he wanted me to get gas for the mowers this morning um, for church. I said, well, I can pick it up at church, but you're not gonna mow today, are you? And he said, I might. And I said, not on your birthday. Go fishing on your birthday, you know, do that kind of stuff. Have fun, don't work. Um, but I didn't tell him that. I just said, well, all right, but I think you ought to go fishing instead because it's a nice day. So they're over there. And uh, Aiden ha is Mr. Charmer. And so he's got this girl he likes. And she kind of likes him, but they're not boyfriend and girlfriend because I get sit straight every time I say girlfriend. Um, and he want he likes to give her flowers well that's great and all but money comes out of mama's pocket not out of, out of his pocket right now because he's currently unemployed because he's getting ready to head to peru and so i told him i wasn't going to buy flowers so she's out of town and gonna be home tonight and he wanted me to get her flowers and i thought no i'm not gonna go buy a rose for her his girlfriend and so I thought about it and so I went to um, this little grocery store we have in the past and they had rose bushes and they had one that had a it's called a veterans hybrid 
veterans who I heard that I forget. But I can put a picture in there of it. But it was the only one it had, it had a gorgeous blue on it. And so I bought that and another rose bush. And either one of that's the only bloom on any of them, of the big ones. And um, I spent $35, got two rose bushes, told him, here's the deal. You plant them, you care for them, you take care of them, and then you cut them and give them to her when you want to give her flowers. And he agreed to that, especially after he saw the flower. And you'll see the picture, and he just thinks they're gorgeous. And he said, well, it'll mean more if I'm taking care of them and I'm growing them and then I give them away. And I said, true, it will mean more to the girls. <laughs> uh, that's where we're going. Um, my energy level is terrible, but I'm pushing through because I have to. I don't have any choice. And what's worrying me is that there will come a day or a time that um, I will hit the brick wall and nobody will go anywhere or be doing anything because I'll just be too exhausted to do it. And that's a possibility big time. Um, you know, you get the spoon, you know, the spoon theory. You get so many spoons per day and then if you borrow from tomorrow, you're going to have less to borrow until you run out of no spoons and then you can't get out of bed. And uh, I feel that coming on. So, um, the only other time I'll be out tonight, I plan, is to go pick Randy up from fishing. Um, I'm going to water these roses, but I'm not going to plant them because um, Aiden will have to do all the work. And I figured, shoot, you know, I had a rose bushy cut down with the weed eater, um, but they are blooming all the time. And so, you know, if you cut them right, they'll keep blooming. And so, um, this, I figured this was the cheapest way to go. Instead of paying $35 for roses from some kind of forest, uh, I'll buy the bushes and then he can take care of them and make his own bouquets because I'm not gonna do it. I'm done, this is what I'm done, I'm done. And in the winter time, he'll have a job again because he will be back from Peru and done with all that band stuff. Good. Right now, it's just kind of tight time for him. He's going to leave in 14 days. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, got to get any hiking boots and I got to figure out how to exchange currency for him. Because I don't know. I, uh, I called our teacher's credit union and they said they don't, but they thought some of the banks in town did. So I got tomorrow's Monday. I'm going to have to call around and see if I can find a bank that will uh, exchange currency because they're going through O'Hare but they're gonna have a whole group of kids he's um, he's scared of his own shadow so he's not gonna go try to get it himself I'm just looking for the chicks and the ducks they like to hide under stuff um, kids really The chicken coop is over there. Their water's over there. The air compressor's right there. And I don't see any of the chickens. But of course, they're hiding it in this heat. It's almost 90 degrees out. I don't know how much that is Celsius, but it's hot. And the humidity is just putting it over top. And I don't want to run over the air compressor, but I've already done it once, so. Not the air compressor, but the core. Um, I just had to buy me a new one. Boy, I can't put it up. <laughs> anyway, I, I apologize for my appearance, but I told you good, bad, and the ugly, and I meant it. So, uh, this is really just from air blown and it's being so hot, and me being a redhead, I don't sweat right, and all that stuff. So, it has been a miserable day, but. A good one a good birthday we got through the birthday i think except it was ice cream cake and i have a feeling that it all melted while i've been running around today so it's probably all over the living room table i'll let you know next time if that's the case otherwise live life to the fullest live life with no regrets and we'll see you next time Bye bye